Hi everyone. In today's DIY projects, we are crafting with Dollar Tree items. We'll be creating some beautiful home decor items on a budget that you could use to decorate your home. For your shopping convenience, all the items used in today's DIY projects will be linked in the description box below. So do check them out and let's jump right into our first DIY project. For our first project, we're going to be using this tapered candle holder from the Dollar Tree and we're also using a dome. I'm just removing that label and we're going to be making a table lamp for this project. I'll use my Rust-Oleum Reflective Gold Spray Paint and I'll spray paint my candle holder. I place my candle holder on the base of my dome making sure that it's leveled. Then I use my marker to mark the area. I'm going to be using these ice gems and I'll leave a link for all the items that I'm using in the description box below. I'm using my hot glue to place my gems going right around that area that I mark. And I'm just making sure that I leave enough space to place my candle holder when I'm done. I'm just checking to make sure that it's okay and then I'll continue adding my gems. I'm also using the lid that came with the dome and for this lamp we're going to be using two of them. Okay, so we're using two domes and I'll do the same thing to both of them. I'm placing the lid back on the dome so I can see where to stop adding my gems. And you just need a small amount of hot glue for this and just push all the gems together. And I'll continue going all the way around. For my strong adhesive, I'm using Aline's Mixed Media Adhesive. I'm placing my adhesive on the candle holder. Then I'll place it right in that area that I marked. Just place it on the counter, make sure that it's straight. So I made two of the domes. Now I'll join both of them together. Just use a small amount of your Aline's Mixed Media and connect both of them together. Or you can use any glue that you prefer. Just use a small amount so you won't have too much on the outside. If you have too much glue, just remove it with your X-Acto knife, as I'm doing here. Now to go around this area, I'm going to be using my gold contact paper. And I'm just going to cut out four squares. And this is the piece that I cut. I'll use my hot glue to connect it just a small amount. And I'm not removing the backing from the contact paper. And that way I won't see too much of the bumps showing through. Now these are the lights that I'll be using. They come three to a pack. I'm just going to be using two for this project. It's RGB lights and they're rechargeable and they come with remotes. Now this is the base of the light. We're going to place the base right on the lid, on the inside of the lid. And the lights come with double-sided tape. But I'm going to be using my double-sided tape for this one. And I'm placing a small piece on the lid. Then I'll place the base of my light. When it's time to recharge a light, just twist it and it uses a micro SD charging wire and those come also with the package. This is how it looks. I should have painted that part before I added the contact paper. So I'm just going to take it outside and spray paint it with my metallic gold spray paint. And then I'll replace the paper. 
I'm going to ask you to please give me a thumbs up on the video if you haven't done so already. And also, please leave me a comment. Just one word is good enough. It really helps to support my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And here's how this project turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to our next project. For this project, we are using a set of plate and bowl from the Dollar Tree. And I love this set. It's black and white. I'm also using this tapered candle holder. And I'll be connecting all three with my mixed media adhesive. And this project is going to be a cake plate. You can use it as a cake plate or a fruit bowl, whichever you prefer. I'm removing the label. I'm placing my glue on the edge of the bowl. Just place a generous amount. Now I'm attaching my candle holder upside down in the center of the plate. And this way you'll have more space on the plate in case you want to use it for fruits. If you're going to be using it as a cake plate, then you flip the plate around and glue it that way. And here it is as a fruit bowl and as a cake plate. This was simple. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our next project. I'm going to be using this dap orange peel um, for some texture. And I'll use it on the medium setting. And I'm testing it first to make sure that's what I want. I'm using an old canvas. I didn't have to spray it first, so you can disregard this step. I'm using my dap orange peel and I'm just going to mist my canvas until I like the way it looks. And then I'll spray paint it black afterwards. I'm also using bamboo skewers from the Dollar Tree and I'll cut each skewer in six inch pieces and I'll be cutting 12 pieces of those. If you can't find the skewers at the Dollar Tree, you can always find them at Walmart. Here's my inspiration. This is a double entry door and I thought it would look nice as a wall decoration. I'm also cutting 11 inch pieces from my skewers and I'm cutting 10 pieces of those. For the larger pieces, I'm going to be using half inch dowels. I'm using two pieces of those and I'm just cutting them the length of my canvas. I think my canvas is around 24 by 36, 35. I'm finding the halfway mark and I'm placing my canvas half an inch away from the halfway mark. And I'm doing the same thing for the opposite side. I glue the two ends down first and then I'm adding the glue in the center. Now I'm finding the center of those dowels and I'm going to place my first piece of skewer right in the center.
and I'm also finding the center of the end of my canvas. So my skewer will be straight going all the way across. Now this is one quarter of my canvas and I'm going to be placing three small skewers and two large ones. To make my design look a little bit neater, I'm going to be using this macrame wooden ring and this is a 2 inch macrame wooden ring from the Dollar Tree 2.2 inch and I'm going to cut it directly in half and then I'll place it over the edges. And I'm just repeating the steps for each quarter of my canvas, keeping that semicircle in the center so I can add my wooden ring. I'm just using my garden shears to cut my wooden ring in half. I'm sanding the edges to get it nice and smooth. I painted them black, um, but you don't have to paint them if you're going to go with all black. Just attach them with your strong adhesive and some hot glue. And here's how this project turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Let me know which one you prefer if you prefer this more subtle design with all black. All right, let's move on to the next project. I'm going to be using the same wooden ring, two of them, and I'm also using bamboo hoops. And you can use whatever size bamboo hoops you would like. Dollar Tree sells bamboo hoops, um, but I'm using this large one and I got this one from Amazon. I'm going to cut my wooden rings in three eight pieces. So I'm finding the half, then I find the quarter, then I find the half of the quarter, and then I cut three sections. I'm also doing the same thing for the hoop. I'm using a sanding paper to clean up the edges. For this design, I'm going to be using bamboo skewers and we're making a wall decoration. And here's my inspiration for this project. Just look at how I'm placing the hoop and also the ring. For the sizes of the bamboo skewers, you just have to measure it as you go along. 
So we're going to add the two first ones to hold our shape together. One end of the skewer will be glued to the ring and then we'll set the other end on top of the hoop. And just continue adding our skewers in the half of the first one. Now we're going to another half. This project took a little bit longer than I wanted it to, just because I have to cut each skewer as I go along. They're not all the same sizes. If you should ask me if I'll do it again, I would say no. Um, this is one project that I think you should buy it instead of making it yourself for the time that it took. I think it's, um, I'm going to link um, the original to the video, but I think it's fairly inexpensive. Now after I added all my skewers together, then I'm using my wood glue, my Gorilla wood glue, and I'm using a little water to water it down, to get it a little bit thin, and then I'll just brush it all over the piece. And this will hold the pieces strong together, and it will also add a nice shine. I made three pieces and now they're all nice and dry. I'm going to use my strong adhesive to attach the three pieces together. They have a larger design to this one. It's right here. That's the one I really wanted to make. But after making these three, I was like, no, I've had enough. So <laughs> I stopped right here. So as you can see, it was kind of awkward placing that third one. So now I have all my pieces attached. I spray painted it with my white Rust-Oleum gloss spray paint and I placed it in my bathroom. And here's how it turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Let me know which project was your favorite this week and if you'll be recreating any of them. If you missed my previous video, here it is on the screen. Just click that rectangular box to watch. Please remember to give me a thumbs up before you leave. It's really important to me. And please share this video with someone that you think may be interested. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye.